so good afternoon. I have come up to a really amazing location today. It's down Patrick Head in County Mayo and I can just show you here. This is what we're going to be shooting later on. And uh, it's basically this crazy big massive sea stack that just sits probably a few hundred yards off the, the coast and where it, conditions look really, really good today. There's a little bit of cloud blowing in from the west, but other than that, there's a lot of blue skies. I've actually come here for two shots. One is in golden hour, so I'm going to be shooting from the western side of the stack back across away from the sun, hoping to get some nice side light. And then the second shot, I'm actually going to go all the way around to that headland over there and then shoot back across because I've worked it out um, with photo pills and the photographer's ephemeris and at sunset the sun should be going down roughly between the land, between the cliff and the sea stack. That's the second shot I'm looking for. Hopefully um, maybe get some sort of a nice starburst or, or a sunburst or that kind of thing just as the sun's almost going down to the, the horizon. That's obviously all going to be dependent on the weather and whether the clouds roll in. Um, we are at the mercy of the Atlantic, but at the moment, things look pretty good. The last time I was here, a couple of years ago, we had a complete sea mist. We had a four hour drive down and when we left home in the morning, it was foggy, like really thick fog. And we literally drove four hours and we never got out of the fog, which is really bizarre because I think most of Ireland must have been covered in it. And when we got here, uh, we, we, we could see the stack, but pretty much that was all we could see. So it was a little bit more of an atmospheric shot, but gotten at the same time to come all this way. So hopefully things might be a little bit better today. We have struck it really lucky with a rainbow. Probably, yeah, it's over there somewhere. You probably can't make it out in this camera. It's just coming down out of this crazy, I guess it's probably like a really crazy heel cloud, which is up there. I've just got this beautiful rainbow just coming down into the water just beside the sea stack. So this is a pretty good start. I'm gonna move back down that way, try and get a wider composition with the whole headland in. And uh, I'm just going to concentrate on this here and then catch you in a wee minute. So I reckon this is actually proven to be a bit of a frustrating uh, afternoon because I've been here at least an hour, an hour and a half. I went down to the bottom location down there and that was the shot. That's where I had been to before and it's probably the best composition that I've found here. But... I want the sun on the sea stack and the sun on these cliffs and whenever that comes out the big issue is the sun's not far enough round so my shadow and the shadow of the tripod is then in the shot. I've been hunting up and down all these little bits along here. There's like little inlets and I've been trying to find other compositions but whenever I move further around then the shape of this you can see maybe already it's getting much narrower. Whereas down at the far side, it was it was you were getting the side of it. Whereas this is you're kind of getting more straight on. So uh, I I really don't know what to do. There is a little bit more cloud beginning to roll in on the west, which I'm a little bit worried about. But we may be okay for sunset. I think I've, I've definitely found my sunset composition, and because I'm going to be shooting straight back that way, shadows and stuff aren't going to be an issue but it's the shot I want in golden hour which I think is going to be a bit of a struggle. Ironically this was meant to be a video all about composition and 
I, I set off to come down here, obviously to shoot down Patrick Head, but it was like, okay, what can I talk about or what kind of tips can I give or what can I share? And one of the things was about composition um, because I know maybe a lot of people struggle with composition and knowing what to put in the frame and what I guess the focal point is, what, what are you wanting the viewer to look at. So I thought, yep, going to do a video and <laughs> this has been an absolute disaster compositionally, well, compositionally for me because of the placement of the sun and the sun has just messed everything up because the composition that I had in mind I think would have worked really well. The focal point for me was going to be down Patrick Hebb, was going to be the sea stack itself so that was what I was wanting the, the viewer to kind of go towards so that was the, the main focal point. Everything else in the composition had to try I guess and balance that but I had to try and lead the eye towards it and my idea was to use the cliffs um, to, to lead the eye and kind of to sweep around towards down Patrick Head but I've just I've struggled so much and you know I I think composition wise I'm always using the rule of thirds I'm always trying to use lead in lines I'm trying to use diagonals to just I guess to create depth to an image but for some reason today it just has been it's been a bit of a can I say bollocks I don't know it's it, it's been a bit of a just a disaster I guess the thing I want to say is when it comes to composition sometimes you know you will struggle you can, you will go out with a shot in mind and on other locations those the, the techniques that you would use will work um, and then sometimes they won't and today it's just one of those days that for me they're not working out that will probably hopefully change once the sun gets a little bit lower in the sky because the angle of where my shadow was earlier when the sun gets further down it shouldn't be in the shot so I'm gonna probably gonna have to wait at least probably another hour before that happens now it's, it is clouding over as you can probably see. So whether that is going to work out for us or not, I don't know, but I think I'll just go back down here, set it up, just wait, and then move back round to this side here for sunset itself. And um, hopefully then I may have a composition that I can talk you through, but yeah, just persevere with it. Sometimes if you feel it's not working, try a few ideas, walk around like I was doing, just having a scout about and yeah, see what you can come up with. light pretty much died earlier but we managed to get a couple of quite nice shots before it did and I've come back around now I'm actually on the opposite side as you can see I'm shooting back towards the Sun which is hasn't set just yet but we're actually I think we might actually get a little bit of color here there's a lot of quite high clouds um, and they are starting to take on a slight slight tinge I'm being really hopeful here, but I've actually found quite a nice composition with this really nice foreground here and this bit of rock over here, which is actually pointing back out towards the, the sea stack. So this time the sea stack is on my top right. I've only got about a third of sky, maybe not even that, because at the minute the sky is not overly exciting. I'm just going to grab just one more shot while we're talking so the settings are very simple f11 I'm on a 10 second exposure at the minute because I've got a three stop ND on now because there's actually very little um, break in the horizon line that the top of the C stack is nearly just about at the horizon so I'm using a reverse um, ND grad 
just to see if we can keep a little bit more detail in the, the brighter part of the sky and it seems to be okay. Um, this is just a waiting game now to see if we get any colour. And if we do, I will be extremely happy.